Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, welcome to the end game on FIFA. This content is truly end game and the market and all of the SBCs that we are getting shows it. We're going to talk about it all today. There is so much to cover after one of the craziest promo Fridays ever yesterday in this game and footies. Guys, the biggest market crash of the year and basically an unlimited pack glitch as well right now that is allowing people to complete Zinedine Zidane and other crazy SBCs for virtually free. Yeah, it's going wild right now in this game. We're going to talk about it all in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe. If you are new, let's go over all of yesterday's content to start things off. And we're going to start with objectives in doing so where we had some really big objectives. Don't sleep on these guys. I know a lot of the hypes on SBCs right now. Don't sleep on this Chiesa card. Chiesa is always cracked in FIFA. It is not that difficult to do. Win nine matches, squad battles, rivals, or foot champs. You get a 96 rated five star, four star Chiesa. Absolutely cracked looking card. Great links. It's a premium as well. Doesn't even need chemistry on his own. An insane card that we had released there. Now we also had the Footies Cup released as well, which gives us another insane card. A 96 Lacazette five star, four star high high work rates with 99 shot power great card there as well and great cards inside of it it's just like the draft objective that we had last week where you play games win games and you level up you get better cards and better packs as you go throughout it Salisu's in there Isco um, and Bruma as well so some solid cards inside of that if you're grinding if you need fodder this is one of the places to look this week right a lot of fodder packs inside of here fodder packs even inside of the Chiesa and then of course they dropped a big objective yesterday which is tied to an SBC the footies daily login guys we can't miss any of these daily logins while this is out it's out for 14 days and you need to get 14 completions to get the entirety of this objective done so make sure you're logging in every single day on the companion app web app or on console and getting that daily login sbc done all you need is just like always for a daily login one bronze player so absolutely insane stuff and it all started with that in objectives yesterday now let's go to packs before we start about talking about sbcs guys there are some insane cards in packs right now they didn't do a re-release like we were hoping but instead they went with a 97 ginola a 98 rashford and of course the big 99 rated kareem the dream saudi transferred benzema card five star five star insane card there i'll say this great selection from ea we have an araujo in packs of course we've got an ococha mascherano florenzi is like the urente regen uh instead of being an sbc he's in packs center mid right wing back and right back an incredible looking card only 110,000 coins premium item as well love that alison insane card for 100,000 coins great goalkeeper um and very packable as well that's the one thing i'll say about this team that is in packs it's very packable. I packed Mertens. I packed Ali Son. I know a lot of you guys have been packing some insane cards as well. And I absolutely love it. Great stat boost. One problem here is that uh, Robbie Keane is max price or his minimum price is 400k. He is um, needing to be lowered because that is not a 400k card at this stage of the game. But honestly, there's not too much else to say for the footies cards except for um, good job, EA. Nice release, great cards, good stats. And uh, yeah, I think they're pretty packable as well, as we mentioned. And that's why you're seeing the prices um, of these cards be pretty low, honestly. Rashford, wow, 1.3 million coins. That's actually who I bought and why I have no coins. I bought a couple at 1.3 mil flat and a little bit under just because he's a very rare card. And footies are fluctuating on the market just a little bit if you care to trade. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Now, of course, the real news is the best of cards that are in packs, guys, obviously we know it's an insane set of cards that are in packs right now. And if you do want to know a list, I'm going to leave this link down below in the description of the video. It is on foot.gg. It's basically a footbin type website. Um, very comparable with Footbin. They have prices, they have squad builders, and basically everything else that Footbin has. They have a list of all the players that are in packs. On EA's official footies website right now, they do not have a list, but this site does. There are 200 cards in packs right now, guys, which is what we expected to happen, and it was the case. 200 cards in packs. It's absolutely insane with all these player items that are out right now. I mean, R9, we packed him yesterday in the stream. Pele, there was somebody in the stream that packed him. Messi, VVD, Shapeshift. There's so many icons of course tons of team of the season cards if you take a look through all these pages of cards that are in packs there's a lot of icons from trophy titans and shapeshifters but there's so many team of the season cards that are in packs right now and it is making 
this game go bananas on so many different levels. So absolutely love it what EA did yesterday, making it feel like the end game. Packs just feel broken right now, right? We're going to talk about it in a bit, but all the packs, they gave us an 85 times 10 yesterday. I only had one gold in my 85 times 10 pack. When you're opening up these sorts of packs, it feels like cheating. Honestly, let's open this 84 times 10 right now. See what we get inside of it. It's probably going to be a TOTS card. Every single pack seems to have a team of the season inside of it. And we're getting good win, the left mid, right? You start to learn after a while of opening these packs who the player is when you see the walkout. Wow, that might be one of the worst 84 tens that I've seen. It's a bad example for the video because 84 times tens yesterday, I got one that was all 90 rated and above with all the special cards that are in packs. It is absolutely crazy what is going on in this game right now with packs. So we'll talk more about packs in a second. Let's talk more about some SBCs because before we get to like 84 tens and the grind of what's best to open right now in this game, we have a lot of SBCs that were dropped yesterday. First of all, a daily login upgrade. We mentioned that that's kind of, there's so many daily SBCs going on right now. There's so many SBCs in general. Make sure you favorite this one and get it done every single day. You have to get it done every single day to get the objective completed at the end. Also yesterday, they dropped the 90 plus player pick and it includes the players that are in packs right now for footies team number five. So tots, tots moments, shapeshifters, premium shapeshifters, of course, you've got the footies, premium footies uh, from teams one through five in there as well. That SBC is not getting a ton of hype because other ones are better right now, but it is at least there. And then, of course, we had the big cover star icon, 99 rated Zinedine Zidane. They actually did it. They also gave him 99 passing, straight 99s down the whole entire column. They gave him a massive agility and bounce and dribbling boost in general. Love this from EA. I kind of wish they would have given him 90 defense, but I'm not complaining because, of course, with this SBC card being so amazing, the price is what is making it so amazing as well. It's 21 squads, guys, right? We said 25 was our guess. EA went below that. And yes, there's still 92 and 91 rated squads inside of this, but EA also knew what they were doing when they put all of those batch three special cards in packs. And this SBC being 1.6 million coins, it's crazy. It's one of the best SBCs of the end game so far. He's not the only SBC that's dropping a lot right now. Take a look at Ronaldinho as well. If you waited to craft Ronaldinho, you're loving life because this SBC was 5 million coins, 4 million coins, 4.5. Yeah, now he's 2.9 million with how much fodder prices have dropped off. But Zidane, of course, the big surprise yesterday, uh, or not even a surprise, but the price really is just a surprise. And it's absolutely insane. Now, I want to guys talk about the way to get Zidane done. This SBC right here, you can basically get done for free because there is an, an unlimited, yes, an unlimited pack glitch right now in FIFA 23, a very simple crafting method that revolves around one SBC. It is the 84 times 10 because it is unlimited repeatable, right? I just opened it 84 times 10. I didn't get a lot of special cards from it, but I have some spent up in the club or stocked up in the club because I've been opening a bunch of these. And basically what you do is every time you are able to open an 84 times 10, which I'm just gonna put in, I don't know, we'll put in Sun into this one too, or maybe Casillas, because the rating is very high, right? I put in three high rated TOTS cards from an 84 times 10 that I just opened. And then I'm gonna go into my club and whatever special cards that you may be packed or whatever gold cards you pack from that last 84 times 10 i'm gonna rinse right back into this and be able to basically do the sbc again have some leftover fodder very easily you can see here i'm probably above the rating with all the high rateds that are a part of this i've got some 84s in the clubs in the club here let's turn in 80s and 81s and see if it lets me do it see look i'm even dropping the rating right now saving myself some of this fodder boom can i save an 85 i can can i save an 86 i can can i save that 85 can I even save the 88 Cheeky Killer Navas? Wow. See, look at this, man. It's just unbelievable right now how much you can save. All right. I got to turn in the 86 Immobile, and we're good to go. See, I just put in three or four of the high-rated TOTS cards that I had just packed or high-rated cards in general from that last 84 times 10, and boom. That's why this is basically an unlimited pack glitch because I turned in three special cards that I had gotten from an 84 times 10. I go into that SBC. I can rinse those three cards back into it use a couple other cards from the club, and we'll be able to just keep stocking up. I have a bunch of 90 plus TOTS cards in my club right now that I just keep packing over and over because this SBC is so good, right? With all the cards that are in packs, I just get a 93 TOTS right there. I get a Raquel May, 
a Taremi, Molina, and a Bergwijn. And that's a very average 84 times 10, guys. That is a very average one. I'm sure you guys that have opened these will see that they are so amazing. Now, I go put three of those um, special cards that I got and a lot of the rest of the 84s in that squad. I won't even need all the 84s to get the next 84 times 10 done. So you have, you have cards left over basically every single time a lot of high rated cards left over every single time again as i said take a look at my club the most recent special cards that i have packed from the 84 times tens sun medina diaby i packed usman dembele yesterday footies mertens bremer i packed martial yesterday right Gutsa, zaha akpom and i've had so many more guys i have not spent a dime doing the zidane sbc i started with no cards in my club except enough to do 184 times 10 i have been doing 84 times 10s on repeat and i've done nine squads of zidane and i've only done the high rated ones i started with the 92s down to the 91s and the 90s it is so easy to get this done right now it's literally a pack glitch you just do the 84 times 10 as many times as you can you build up the extra fodder goes into zidane the rest keeps going back into 84 times 10s now a couple of the details with this it works with the 85 times 10 as well we just can't do that sbc unlimited right you can only do it five times a day make sure you're doing your 85 times 10 five times a day as well because that'll even get you some higher rated cards and it's even better than the 84 10 and if you're running out of low tier players you might be like nate i don't have 80s 81s 82s 83s in my club do the same grind we've been talking about for the past couple of days the daily bronze and silver upgrades into the daily gold upgrade and that gives you gold players which you can then turn into the footies crafting upgrade to get 80 plus times three packs guys these right here are basically unlocking the 84 times 10 method to another level because like we saw i turned in 80 and 81 rated into the 84 times 10 after having those high rated cards you just need to get whatever out of this to put into the 84 10 and you're supplementing the growth of your club through this sbc being unlimited repeatable that is the method right now fodder is really unlimited through this method and uh yeah if you need some fodder to get off the ground if you're like nate my club is bone dry i got nothing Go and play a little bit of the Footies Cup. Um, maybe you do some milestones, right? Maybe you're playing champs. Get some packs from this. Maybe you're doing a login bonus after two completions. Today, we're going to be getting an 84 times two, which will at least give you a couple 84s or above to put in that as well. So it's very, very easy to get fodder right now, guys. And especially with that 84 times 10, it just it's like a multiplication, duplication glitch for fodder on this game. And you can get SBCs done for basically free. It's unbelievable. Do it on repeat. You'll get it done easy. Whatever SBC you're trying to craft, easy done. And you can tell that fodder is so easy to pack right now because of the prices, guys. Let's talk about the market a bit because we had the biggest market crash of the entire year happened yesterday on this game now first of all we're going to talk about fodder because that's what we've been talking about take a look at some of these prices of sbc fodder cards now we always already saw the dino sbc dropped off a ton it's not on the low tier guys we're going to talk about investing in this low tier because that's the fodder that everybody needs right now 80s to 85s we'll talk about that in a minute but everything that is 88 rated and above is literally discard price 88 rated are 11,000 coins 89s are 11,000 coins oh wait 92s are 11,000 coins Oh, wait, 94 rated cards are still 11 to 12,000 coins. Yes, guys, everything is discard in terms of fodder or almost everything is discard. You take a look at these 94s at about 12K. looks like they're actually going up a little bit right now because of the SBCs that you need them for. People are just buying them. Uh, but everything at least 93 and below is literally discard price. It is astonishing when you look at these prices. Shenmin Sun, 15,000 coins right now. Yesterday, he was 40K. We thought all Tots cards at 30K was fun, right? Team of the Weeks at 30K, that was fun. Yeah, now they're all 12,000 coins. And fodder is just, like we said, unlimited on this game. So these prices have dropped off like crazy. Now, the lower tier, as we mentioned, this is the biggest investment that I can tell you guys about right now in this game because these prices are only going up. Because people need 80s to 84s like we just saw doing that 84 times 10 method. 
you need those cards to finish out the SBC. And a lot of people are just going to the market and buying those. Guys, if you have open spaces on your transfer list, if you have open spaces in your club, which everybody does, right? Go and buy some 80s to 84s because they are going to be going up. They already have been going up. I was buying 84s yesterday that you saw a bunch in my club, right? I was buying those right after the content drop yesterday for 3,000 coins. They are now 3,200 apiece and only going to rise, guys. They're only going to rise because there is not as much supply for these as there is demand. They're just going to keep going up. So I would say I'm not investing in going unassigned uh, because really I'm not trying to make coins. What I'm trying to do here is just get this in the club so that I can keep doing the 84 times 10s and 85 times 10s on repeat. So make sure you go ahead and club stock as much as this as you possibly can. Try to pay a low um, 3K range, like 3 to 3.2K for 84s. 2 to 2.4 for 83s and then 1000 1200 for 82s and anything under 1000 for 81s guys even stock the 81s in your club because they will come in very handy in the next couple of days uh because those prices are just going to go up because that's the fodder that like op you're opening 84 plus packs right 84 times 10s what are you not getting you're getting you're not getting many 81s to 84s and you need that to get the next 84 plus done if people are doing that unlimited method. So stock up on that fodder. It's a massive investment. Those will probably keep going up this weekend and maybe into the week. Now for the other part of the market, meta cards, right? Think about all the cards that were just dropped into packs, shapeshifters, tots cards, uh, trophy titans and, and shapeshifter icons as well some of the biggest price drop-offs we've seen all the entire year guys i mean this happens every year at the end of the game but it's still crazy 97 paul pogba was still 2.8 million coins before getting re-released into packs with all the craziness paul pogba is now 600 000 coins robin van percy shapeshifter icon 400 almost 400 000 coins 380 yesterday He's now 62,000 coins. Even on the lower tier, 94 rated Kyle Walker, guys, was 75,000 coins, and he's now 13K. That is the state of this market. Everything is in shambles. If you're like, Nate, how in the world do I make coins right now? Here's what I would tell you. The only cards that are really moving in value are some of those 94s, actually, that we just looked at, like uh, Kyle Walker, Hyunmin Son, especially if they're Team of the Week or um, not really Team of the Week. Those are not not 94 rated, but Team of the Season cards or Tots Moments. Definitely keep an eye on some of the 94 rated cards uh, because they will fluctuate as people will buy buy them because they're doing the squads of Dino. They're doing the squads of Zidane. Keep an eye on those. Those will fluctuate. But I really say, guys, right now, I spent about 25, 30 minutes yesterday after the stream looking at the market a bit and trading a few cards. Uh, I bought this Gabriel Jesus at 550, sold it at 677. I bought this Alaba for 550 as well, sold it for 619. Cassie for 300. I bought four Sanchos, all for 180,000 coins. He went up big. Ginola's I bought for 120 to 140K. He was 170. There's a couple of lazy sales here on the De Lorenzo's. So watch your footies cards because footies cards are the ones that are fluctuating the most right now. As I mentioned, I did buy a couple of Rashfords for around 1.3 mil or a little bit less. And uh, that's just because I believe that his card price can go up because these footies cards, people are still using them. They're still rare. And uh, I like that about them. So I'm keeping an eye on Rashford. I'm hoping that he goes up today on Saturday. The, the market does worry me 100% because these cards uh, and everything right now is super duper packable. But I mean, I feel pretty confident as well telling you guys that if you're really trying to grind the market, if you need a few coins here or there, just watch fluctuations on these footies cards. Lucio is 1.6 million coins. Then if you guys notice his price yesterday, he was down all the way to 1.3 mil. Now he's back all the way to 1.5, 1.6. Um, yeah, a lot of the out of packs footies cards were the ones that moved yesterday. Captavia was 485. What was he at his lowest? He was 400,000 coins, 430. Then it went back to 500K. So watch fluctuations on the out of packs footies. That would be the place in the market that I would be trading right now if I would be trading at all. And yeah, guys, really quickly today, content on Saturday today. It's going to be a day for crafting Zidane, doing as many 84 times 10s. The menu grind right now is literally undefeated. And uh, yeah, have fun. Enjoy the menus. It's going to be great. Craft whatever SBC you would like to do. I would expect to see a player SBC today. That's pretty common. Heroes actually have been really common on Saturdays. We do not have an icon coming today unless there's a surprise because the Del Piero is actually going to come out tomorrow on Sunday. So no icon today unless the EA's got another something special up their sleeve. We could see, though, another big-time SBC that might be just fun to do from the upgrade section. The 82 times 100 is going away today. 
There's 83 times 100 that's in the code. Could that return or could that come out today? Yes, potentially. Watch out for an 83 or the re-release of the 82 times 100 today. And then also, guys, there is some more XP in the objective section for the... Um, the home of XP, right? Home of XP set number three is going to come out today. That'll be 1500 XP more that you could go and get. And there's one last thing that I'm hoping for today, the 400 K pack in the store. I'm hoping so much for EA to drop this pack today. Cause if you can imagine how good the 400 K pack was, that is the 400 K pack that gives out 250 players. I think it's called like the super ultimate or something like that. If that pack drops today, I definitely will be opening it because that would be a crazy pack with all the special cards out. That would just be so much fun to open and it'd be an absolute blast. So I hope they do that. I will say this as well. The footies rerun bundle, it's 590 plus players. Well, 90 rated players right now or 11,000 coins minimum price. So if you have an extra 50K and you want to just take a punt at getting something insane from the re-release, um, this would not have any footies cards in it. It's just the re-release of, you know, shapeshifters, tots, and icons. It's actually kind of worth doing this. Let's open it right now for 50,000 coins because you really can't lose. What you're getting back is literally the same value as the pack. We get a Brazilian team this season. Bruno Guimaraes, all right? 93 rated. Anything cheeky in behind for these five players? Blanc. Um, and then you get a kit as well. So, I mean, right there, I just basically traded in 50,000 coins for 50,000 coins worth of fodder on the open market. Can't complain. That's going to go into either Zidane or the 84 times 10 grind. Guys, let me know what you liked the most about yesterday's content and what you packed, right? I got Usman. I was super happy about that. I know some of you guys are packing insane stuff. Let me know down in the comments what you were able to pack yesterday and how much you're enjoying this game. Do you like this? Do you not? I feel like a lot of people do. Personally, I love it. It's the end game truly now on FIFA 23. If you enjoyed this video today, drop a thumbs up on it and of course, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. It's been Nate for the count and catch you guys there. Peace out.